There are nearly 7.5 billion people on the planet, and a small handful are way more powerful than the so-called average Joe. That power can be in the form of wealth, political influence, or sometimes both. Who are the wealthiest and most influential of them all? Here's our breakdown. In this episode of the Infographic Show, Top 13 Most Powerful People in the World, 2018. Number 13, Mark Zuckerberg. The founder and CEO of Facebook, Zuckerberg has seen his net worth soar as the social network stock price has gone through the roof, rising more than 400% over the last six years. Zuckerberg owns 17% of Facebook, making his net worth $76.9 billion as of June this year. Since 2010, Time Magazine has named him among the 100 wealthiest and most influential people in the world as part of its Person of the Year award. Zuckerberg is also paving his way as a well-known philanthropist, and he and his wife, Priscilla Chan, have pledged to give away 99% of their Facebook stake during their lifetimes. He's powerful and still young, so no doubt we'll see him climb this list as the years go by. Number 12, Emmanuel Macron. Emmanuel Jean Michel Frédéric Macron is a French politician serving as President of France and ex officio co prince of Andorra since May 14, 2017. Macron holds the top seat in Europe's third largest economy, and in an interview with Forbes in April, Macron announced he intends to wipe out the 30% tax on people who try to take their money out of France. A decision that saw him come under fire from France's third richest man and the world's 25th, Francois Penault, 81, who issued stern words of warning to President Emmanuel Macron when he was quoted in British newspaper The Guardian as saying, he doesn't understand the poor. I'm afraid that he's leading France towards a system that forgets it's least well off. But Macron continues to hold his position as one of the most powerful people in Europe and the world. Number 11, Jerome H. Powell. The ex-Carlyle Group partner became the world's top central banker as chairman of the Federal Reserve in February 2018 after being nominated by President Trump. Powell earned a degree in politics from Princeton University in 1975 and a Juris Doctor from Georgetown University Law Center in 1979 before moving into investment banking in 1984. Then, in 1992, Powell entered the political arena when he served as Undersecretary of the Treasury under President George H.W. Bush. Holding the position of Chairman of the Federal Reserve means he has the keys to the world's largest economy and he runs the printing presses for the US reserve currency. Basically, he's so powerful, he can literally print new dollar bills. Number 10, Larry Page. We all know Google. Well, Lawrence Edward Page is an American computer scientist and an internet entrepreneur who co-founded Google with Sergey Brin. He is now the CEO of Alphabet, a business with more than 80,000 staff, and the parent company of Google, healthcare division Calico, smart home appliance division Nest, and more. Page co-founded Google in 1998 and was Google's first CEO. Today, he is worth $53 billion. That's a lot of cash. But apart from all the money, his company has access to vast amounts of the world's data that it inputs into searches, emails, the cloud, phones, and handhelds. Number 9, Narendra Modi. There are 1.3 billion people in India, making it the second most populous country on earth after China. And since 2014, Narendra Modi governs those masses as India's prime minister. India possesses the world's fifth strongest military and seventh largest economy with a GDP of $2.3 trillion. Modi told Time Magazine in May 2015, if you were to ask me to choose between democratic values and wealth, power, prosperity, and fame, I will very easily and without any doubt choose democratic values. And he seems to be living by those views when, in 2016, he announced plans to eliminate India's two largest banknotes in a bid to reduce money laundering and corruption. Number 8. Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud His father remains king of Saudi Arabia, but the crown prince has consolidated power beyond any doubt and taken control of the country. CNBC reported in February this year that Saudi Aramco, the world's largest energy company, and Alphabet, who we mentioned is run by Larry Page, co-owner of Google, have entered into discussions to create a technology hub in Saudi Arabia. This demonstrates that Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is not only the most powerful man in Saudi Arabia, but is now the most powerful man in the entire Middle East. That's quite a title to hold at only 32 years old. And back in November 2017, Al Saud led an anti-corruption campaign that caused many prominent Saudis to be arrested and forced to turn over their fortunes. As a result, 10 Saudi billionaires were dropped from Forbes' annual list of the world's billionaires. Number 7. Bill Gates Worth just over $92 billion, Gates doesn't need much of an introduction. 
He founded Microsoft in 1975 with Paul Allen, and it went on to become the world's largest PC software company. Gates led the company as chief executive officer until stepping down in January 2000. But life didn't end there, and he has gone on to become one of the world's best known philanthropists. When he and his wife Melinda set up the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the world's largest private charitable foundation. The foundation works to save lives and improve global health, and is working with Rotary International to eliminate polio. Bill Gates holds the record for the highest amount given to charity at $35 billion, and he has given away or sold much of his stake in Microsoft. Today, he owns just over 1% of shares. Number 6. Pope Francis Pope Francis is the spiritual leader to more than one-sixth of the world's population, 1.3 billion people. The same number as the population of India. Born Jorge Mario Bergoglio, Pope Francis is the 266th Pope of the Roman Catholic Church and the first Pope from the Americas. He has been one of the most popular and proactive Popes, making it his personal mission to transform the conservative image of the Catholic Church. Some of the changes he has implemented include giving priests the power to forgive women who undergo abortions, pushing the agenda for climate change reform, and better treatment of refugees. And not long after taking the job, he was named Time Magazine's 2013 Person of the Year for pulling the papacy out of the palace and into the streets. Number 5. Jeff Bezos Have you ever ordered a product from Amazon? Most likely so. Well, Amazon CEO is the first person to top $100 billion as number one on the Forbes list of the world's billionaires. He founded Amazon in a garage in Seattle in 1994, and in February this year, Amazon's market value rose above $685 billion, making it worth more than Microsoft for the first time ever. Bezos owns 16% of the e-commerce giant, and his total net worth is $140 billion. Bezos' other passion is space travel, and in 2000, he founded aerospace company Blue Origin. He has set a goal to reach the moon by 2023, with a view of preparing the moon for the eventual permanent settlement of humans. The company has also been testing reusable space rockets, with a view of offering space tourism in the near future. Number 4. Angela Merkel Merkel has been the rock of Europe for some time now, and she is sometimes referred to as the continent's de facto leader. At the time the global economic crisis hit, and most other European leaders were finished off, Merkel fended off a long-term recession in Germany by introducing economic stimulus packages and shortening working hours, whereby workers worked less but had their earnings topped up by the government rather than business. The result was that the German economy flourished. The next 12 months will determine how long Merkel can remain as the powerhouse of Europe, with the uncertainty of Brexit on the horizon and the growing anti-immigrant sentiment in the region. Number 3. Donald Trump Billionaire businessman, TV entertainer, and now President of the United States, Donald Trump owns buildings, golf courses, and a winery, and has licensed his name to companies around the world. He got his start working for his father, Fred, who developed low-cost housing in New York. He's been a controversial leader and the first president to be as active on Twitter as he is in the traditional press. Trump made history this year when he met with North Korean Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un in Singapore on June 12, 2018. It was the first summit meeting between the leaders of the United States of America and the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Following the meeting, President Trump tweeted, just landed. A long trip, but everybody can now feel much safer than the day I took office. There is no longer a nuclear threat from North Korea. Meeting with Kim Jong-un was an interesting and very positive experience. North Korea has great potential for the future. Number 2. Vladimir Putin Voted the world's most powerful person four times between 2013 and 2016, Russia's president continues to exert his country's influence around the world. Putin has created what he calls a vertical of power, something very different to anything we see in other great nations. In the words of Russian chess grandmaster Garry Kasparov, the entire structure of Russian political power rests on one man, and Putin has continued to spread his influence since President Trump entered the political stage. There has been an ongoing FBI investigation to determine whether Trump's election campaign had a relationship with high-ranking Russian officials, and Facebook admitted that 126 million Americans saw political ads purchased by Russian organizations. Putin's international influence stems largely from Europe's dependence on Russian oil and gas. State-owned Gazprom is one of EU's largest suppliers. He's not number one, but he doesn't appear to be slowing down anytime soon. And finally, coming in at number one is Xi Jinping. Top of the list is the leader of the world's most populated country and second largest economy, China. The man responsible for running China has become China's most powerful leader since Mao Zedong. Xi heads all the main institutional centers of power, from the military to the presidency. Wherever one looks, 
She seems to be at the center in modern China, said Kerry Brown, professor of Chinese studies at King's College in London. His wide-reaching anti-corruption campaign has seen a purge of allegedly corrupt party officials that has solidified his power, a strategy that has been met with some criticism in political circles, but has been widely popular amongst the ordinary Chinese population. He is credited with the slogan, Chinese Dream, a set of personal and national ideals for the advancement of Chinese society. So, that's our list of the top 13 most powerful people in the world. Is there anyone else you think should have made the list who we didn't mention? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other video called Is Vladimir Putin the Richest Man Alive? Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time!